No fines on the whole day. Do you think that's not? Do you think that's not? That's not, you brush your teeth so fast. Ah. Most recruits, their motivation is to basically end up in command school, OCS or SAS. My motivation, I guess, in the morning when I wake up is to become a better marksman. Whenever an opportunity comes, like live firing, in order to test my marksmanship and in order to earn the badge, the marksman badge, um, I am able to like, put in more effort in that area so that I can eventually get the selective vocation that I want. We are from Dragon Company and this is our story. Our story of every Singaporean son. The firepower demonstration is very important for our recruits. This is to show them the capabilities of our SAF weapon systems. I uh, can bring the baton in to go and observe the impact. Thank you. Okay, chamber one moving in. The locks is all going through. And finally, the most prominent one is the watermelon. This is the back part of it. The front part is just a hole. See the entry point? No, this is three rounds. So that one round is enough to smash your head, okay? That one round is enough to smash your head and it splurts. This experience is very important for the recruits. It's because they will feel the vibration, they will feel the mm, during the live firing. And most importantly, is to see what happens at the end of the firing. We are going to demonstrate to them how to use the rifle safely and effectively. Uh, you guys, try and strip your weapon. Okay, understand all the functions, okay? Let's go. Today, uh, we're going to be heading towards the Indoor Marksmanship Training Centre and that's where we're going to have our first virtual experience firing the SAR-21. The range was as similar as it could be to the real-life range, where the live firing will occur. As I was about to enter the foxhole, I had to remind myself to breathe constantly and not let the adrenaline take over, basically. And so when I went to the, the firing position with the sandbag supporting the rifle, when the instruction was to fire the weapon, and when I put it to fire mode, I regulated my breathing and on halfway between the breathe in and breathe out, I fired. On one of the tests, my groupings were very close together. Just as I was about to fire, I had to really concentrate on keeping the target in the center of my scope and also I had to regulate the finger pull on the trigger. My father served in the army. Well, like one of the few parts he was allowed to tell me was that he was also a marksman. This is the old, old badge, the marksmanship badge that was given to me. He got the, the solid gold pin and he was very proud of it. He gave it to me. So you can have this. And I kept it at home. So I wanted to you know, honour his legacy, I guess, by continuing his footsteps and by achieving the same level of expertise as him uh, in terms of marksmanship and accuracy in NS. Live firing days are a little bit more nerve-wracking. In order for my recruits to pass, they need to hit at least 50% of the targets. The BTP is broken up in phases. In the morning, we begin with the zeroing of the weapon before proceeding with the qualification and finally, the test. There are three main targets. The figure 11, the figure 12, and finally, figure 15 is just the head, simulating someone taking cover. The difference, or the difference between the experience of IMT and the real life firing event is firstly, the recoil is not as high as the, the live firing event as compared to IMT. The recoil is much higher. And also the sound is also much higher because when you're walking up the range, you hear these loud, loud sounds. And the earplugs, they only give you as soft earplugs. Once you start firing, you get into it and you basically block the sound out. 
If the day shoot is intense, the night shoot is double that. Everything is dark, visibility is low. With that, we have to double up our vigilance. There will be times where we need to move and operate in the dark. The hardest thing for me in this BTP is consistency because I know that I will have to hit the next shot if I hit the current shot on point. So carrying out that consistency is quite difficult. You know you hit some and you miss some at the end of the day, but still I am a marksman and I'm proud of that.